So the first thing we want to do is determine exactly how much of this shirt is going to be cut based on how fancy I'm planning on making this particular pillow. On the back of this shirt, I wanted to show you that this palm tree that's back here in the back of this shirt, when I line it up correctly, this palm tree is going to be centered in the back of the pillow. I am wanting to preserve all of the pictures on here. This motorcycle, car, the boards, and I don't want to center this shirt. I want the buttons on this shirt to hit up high, and I really truly want them to hit at the upper side. So those are going to be where they are located. It's going to show off the motorcycle and the car. And then, of course, the surf surfboards will be back here with the Tiki Hut. And then the drink here. If I do it this way and I pin it at that point, that will work great. However, in order to reduce one seam and give it a little bit of looks, this one has a double seam. And I really want that to hit in the back. So what I will do is I will bring it along here and let that seam stay on this upper side. So that part of the shirt will already have been sewn. And at this point, I have pushed it to the furthest edge as I can where these two points are not sewn together from the factory. But I'm going to sew them together for this shirt. So I will mark it accordingly right there and as well down here on this upper side same way there is a sleeve here and that's okay because it's going to fall just beyond where i need it and that will come off so at this point that's pretty much where i've positioned it that i want it to make it look the best as a throw pillow for her since we've decided where we want all this to be positioned we're simply going to take some pins and pin it as snug as we can. Before I go to pinning, because that is the cheater's method, so you don't have to worry about measuring and this, that, and the other, and you want it to look like that when that pillow is sewn together. See, I'm just making it look the way I want it. I use my ruler. I place it between the fabric and the pillow, and I pin those into place so that they're not pulled and that way when I start pinning the sides together to get my allowance for my seams then I will be mimicking exactly the way I want that pillow to look before I begin sewing it together and this is a pretty quick way to convert these Hawaiian shirts Magnum PI shirts into a pillow I pin those to lock those buttons in place and here's what's really really great if you wanted to change this pillow form out and just take this pillow cover off you'll be able to access it through the buttons which means we are able to sew this pillow on all the other three sides and leave this seam attached just as it is we will of course need to tighten it closer down here but we won't have to worry about doing any kind of needle and thread at all. We can basically turn this inside out. So all three of the sides together. Unbutton it. Put the pillow form in. And voila, we will be done. So to convert our Hawaiian shirt, Magnum PI shirt, into a toss pillow... And this is also for memory as well. Her husband wore these when they went on vacation. So we can use these buttons to remove the pillow form in and out of the shirt. So the main thing here is I pushed it to the limit up here where the sleeve is. And I pushed it to the limit down here in the lower area at the bottom of the shirt. I have a pocket here and I'm going to have to undo this pocket without tearing up the fabric in order to finish this off and utilize these pictures that we're wanting to visually see on this pillow is pin it where I know that I don't want it to 
go any further the area and then that I can take and mark that know exactly where to cut and then I'll mark it on the back side I'll do the upper and the lower so as what well. I'm doing is I am using my friction marker here these are totally heat erasable as soon as an iron hits them they erase but I'm not worried about it because I'm going to be actually cutting this shirt and I've just put me a line there so that I know that that is one inch from where I have it pinned here on the side and that's where I will be sewing it on the inside very easy lemon squeezy on doing this and the same way up here instead of pinning it I'm simply going to mark it and I know to cut straight across down here at the bottom the way that this pillow is done is it is not quite closed up but I still know that I can do the same thing is place my ruler there and mark it as well go ahead and spread out that sleeve as though it is a straight piece of cloth you're not gonna sweat this part up here because it'll be gone and create your line all the way across there as though it were a straight piece of cloth it's just a little bit different for using the shirt and needing that whole string of fabric now the way that I did mine is I was concerned with these buttons here and where I wanted them to land on the pillow so in order to balance that lapel area that's coming together along with the buttons that's going to be laying on top of the pillow and down here at the bottom as well as you can see right here is the line it's just barely taken off that shirt edging and that's going to work just fine but when I'm marking this as though it's a straight piece of cloth I will cut them one at a time I'll cut the top part of the shirt and then once I've gotten it out of my way I will do the back as well keep the lapel pins in place while you do your cutting as well because remember we don't want it to stretch you do not want to cut through double the fabric you basically want to measure this side cut it cut that and then do the back side the same way so now I've got the shirt cut and the most important thing if you're doing one unique like mine is just put these two seams together first and then that will help you to also you can do the bottom edge if you like but what's going to determine this what this difference down here so that you know where to put that together at is you want to meet this seam and this seam together first then you'll be able to make sure this is placed in the upper proportion and then close up the one side once you've done those two seams and gotten them situated this upper one that the sleeves were used as though it were straight fabric you'll be able to make the adjustments accordingly and know exactly what needs to be tucked and seamed in and what does not what extra has to come off so i'm off to the sewing machine well to make these pillows out of the hawaiian shirts magnum pi shirts look high quality home decor top class grab you some maxi piping bias tape cut that side there and go ahead and attach it all the way around the pillow i wanted to make some bias tape because i ran out so to make maxi pipe and bias tape get your three millimeter macrame cord grab regular bias tape finger fold it in half and put you a little crease there and they'll hold you a canal to place the three millimeter macrame cord in and just hold it in place and press it down with your iron and once you get that first fold going and get it assembled and centering the cord in the middle it'll go real easy and I just use some straight pins and pin it down to my little board here grab you a safety pin 
and pin that safety pin through the cord and the fabric and just close it up and they'll hold. That way when you're pulling and tugging on it, that cord is not going to come out. And I did take my homemade maxi piping bias tape to the machine and the way you want to set that up to sew it just temporarily is use the default zero zero and move your stitches up to a size three. Now I've already sewn this maxi piping together. So as you can see here, I've got it laid between the two pieces of fabric. Place that foot directly down on the maxi piping where it's sitting on the actual cord inside and then stitch it down. And then to get the corners to round, Take your scissors and snip it one eighth of an inch in about five places. And then this way, whenever you get ready to start sewing and doing the sides or the corners, it will round and you'll just crawl your needle around that. And it will make smooth corners just like this, perfect corners. And once again, hold your piping down, line your fabric up, and just sew it down. And it just turned out so incredible. Here they are. They are beautiful. She loved them. And that boho rug, I'll put an eye card up top. So here's the buttons set to the right. Here's the button set to the left on the other shirt. And then for the coral, I placed them in the center. They are absolutely stunningly beautiful, very high dollar uptown home decor. And to really pump it up, add some maxi piping instead of just planing the pillow. So till the next DIY, well, I'll be crafting y'all. This is Elizabeth, over and out. Bye guys.